What's up guys, DRock1992 here. Uh, this next video is going to be the final part, part 4, of my most anticipated movies list of 2016. This is going to be uh, the films in the fourth quarter of 2016, which are October, th which is October through December. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. <clears throat> The first week of October, the, for the week of October, October 7th, excuse me, excuse me again there, um, has three movies in particular that I'm looking forward to. The first one is The Accountant. It is a movie with Ben Affleck in it. Uh, the Accountant has got Ben Affleck, Anna Kendrick, J.K. Simmons, some big names, definitely. Um, I would read you a plot, but they don't have a plot on where I'm looking it up, but, um, Jeffrey Tambor, who I've heard of, I mean, he's been in a lot of stuff, is in the movie as well, and John Lithgow is in the movie as well. So that movie's coming out October 7th. Next movie that week <clears throat> is Gambit which is going to be yet another action here or comic book movie coming out in 27 2016 remember I said there's seven movies coming out uh it is slated to come out that week the week I mentioned and Channing Tatum is slated to star as Gambit so that'll definitely be very interesting and Gambit is in the X-Men universe, anyway. So Gambit will be an X-Men film. But it'll kind of be a spin-off film. Uh, in the X-Men universe. But still, an X-Men film. So, I'm looking forward to that. But once I watch the other X-Men films and Apocalypse, I'll definitely get into Gambit. Deadpool, as well, is, um, is based on... Um, is in the X-Men universe as well. So, <clears throat> and then the final film that week is a movie called The Girl on the Train. It looks very intriguing. I, have, I haven't seen a trailer for it or anything because there hasn't been anything that's been out. But I've heard about it from uh, this site uh, called Collider Movie Talk, um, which uh, it, it's, if you look up Collider... Um, it'll have Collider Movies, I think is the title of the channel. It, um, it's where I get a lot of, it, it's where I get all my movie information and all that, that I can share with you guys. But, um, but yeah, The Girl on the Train, it looks very interesting. I mean, Rebecca Ferguson and em Emily Blunt are going to be the main stars. I really enjoyed Emily Blunt in Edge of Tomorrow. She was very good in that movie. Um... And Rebecca Ferguson, I've heard great things about her from Mission Impossible 5 that came out last year. And uh, that movie was a big hit. <clears throat> so, it's a thriller film. And it's based on a novel that came out last year, too. Oh, uh, the plot of the movie. Rachel Watson, an alcoholic troubled woman whose husband left her for, her for his mistress, witnesses a murder and starts to realize that she may have been involved in the crime. Sounds like a very, very intriguing plot. Some other actresses that are in this movie, Allison Janney, who's been in a lot of different things, Lisa Kudrow, best known as, um, as one of the people from Friends, one of the characters from one of the cast members of Friends, and Laura Prepon, probably best known as one of the best cast members, known cast members of that 70s show as Donna. Uh, I can't think of Kudrow's character in um, Friends, but yeah, those two are going to be in the movie. But uh, yeah, it looks interesting. So, next on the list, so this will be see here um
the week of October four. Er, yeah, October fourteenth. That was right. October fourteenth. <clears throat> is there's one movie in particular I'm looking forward to, and that is Underworld Next Generation. Again, with these movies, it's a recognizable property to me, but I've never watched any of the movies before. This is the fifth installment in the Underworld series, so I have to go back and watch all the original Underworlds. Uh before I watch this one, but it's pretty, uh, I mean, so depending on if I like the other Underworld films, I'll probably still check out this film in particular and all that, but, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll check out Underworld Next Generation. Why not? Kate Beckinsale is, uh, the lead actress in all of the movies and all that, so she plays Celine character named Celine, uh, and I thought that she's very attractive in the movie, in tight leather, uh, leather and all that, leather pants, leather everything, I think, anyway, so, yeah, that's part of the reason why I want to watch those movies, the Underworld movies, just saying, but, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Underworld Next Generation, um, let's see here, the week of October 21st, uh, there is one movie, uh, a sequel to another movie that, surprise, surprise, I've never watched the movie. I've never watched uh, the first of the movie in the franchise, Jack Reacher Never Go Back. There was a movie, Jack Reacher, that came out in 2012. I never did watch the movie. I think I watched parts of it, actually, anyway, but <clears throat> never watched the whole thing. But Jack Reacher Never Go Back is going to be the second film in the in the series. Tom Cruise stars as Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher is um the the movies are based off a popular book series of Jack Reacher. There's like forty novels or something like that. Forty novels, like um there's a lot of novels about this character of Jack Reacher. Also, Kobe Smulders is going to be in the movie. Um, two of the things she's best known for, How I Met Your Mother, she's one of the main cast members, she was one of the main cast members of that show, and she's in the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe as Maria Hill, who is one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the movies. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to this, but like I said, i got to first go back and watch the first Jack Reacher. Uh, that's it for October. Now we get into November. And... Let's see here. The week of, uh, uh, the week of November 4th looks very interesting to me because you have the movie called Bastards. First off, that is coming out that's that year or that week um never I, I think I kind of in my tr in my travels of looking up movies and all that I've come across this movie a little bit but now that I really see it the names look incredible Owen Wilson who's one of my favorite uh, comedic actors and all that Ed Helms who's good I mean he was good in the hangover movies J.K. Simmons is in the movie. He's proven he can be pretty funny. Uh, Ving Rhames, uh, Glenn Close. Ving Rhames is one black man I would never mess with. Just saying. I mean, one man I would never mess with, for sure. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but, anyway, uh, Bastards. Uh, that movie is, um, is coming out uh, November 4th and all that. <clears throat> so yeah, I am looking forward to it. Um let's see here the Yeah, Ving Ving Rames. I mean nothing racist by that at all, but uh Ving Rames is one dude I would not mess with. Just watch those commercials about um 
And again, I, I mean nothing racist at all. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, Ving Rhames, uh, you, you watch those commercials about, um, oh, it's uh, this alarm system. I forget the name of it right now, but man, he's a big man. You, yeah, you don't want to mess with him. Just let's just sit, go with that. Definitely. Uh, the next movie that's coming out November fourth is Doctor Strange on yet another comic book movie. And it's going to be a Marvel film. Uh, Doctor Strange is the second Marvel film that's coming out in 2016. Uh, Captain America's Civil War, of course, I talked about, came out is going to come out in May. So Doctor Strange, this is yet another comic book. This is another comic book property I've never heard of. I've never heard of Doctor Strange and all that. But because it's Marvel, and because Marvel just has such a proven track record of great excellence in movies, I'm looking forward to this film. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Strange. The cast looks impressive. Chewy Attell Ejiofor, one of the best actors in Hollywood today. Rachel McAdams, who I like as an actress. And Mads Mikkelsen, who played Lashif in... Um, in Casino Royale, and he was very good in that, the Bond film, Casino Royale. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Doctor Strange. Um, so anyway, the week of uh, November 11th, uh, there's one in particular that I'm looking forward to, and that would be Billy Lynn's, lo Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. I've heard some stuff about this movie, and there's impressive people in it. Vin Diesel, Steve Martin, Chris Tucker in particular. But Billy Lynn's Long Halftime, halftime Walk. It's a war comedy drama film. And there's nothing in it that says... It's based on a novel, and there's no plot where I'm looking at it, so... But yeah, I'm um, I'm looking forward to it because of the names and all that in this film. And I've kind of heard a little bit about it, just a tiny bit, but I'm intrigued. So, the next film on my list, and this is during the week of November 18th, and this is going to be the prequel. This is going to be... <clears throat> Well, the movie is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And this takes place 60 years before Harry Potter. Before the Harry Potter stuff happens. And this is going to be written by J.K. Rowling, who wrote the Harry Potter books. And she wrote Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Eddie Redmayne, Eddie Redmayne is going to be in the lead role. He won an Academy Award, I believe, last year for, uh, or a couple years ago for, uh, I can't think of the movie right now, but I believe he did win an Academy Award. But yeah, um, this movie looks impressive. Uh, from what I've seen from the trailer so far, it it was pretty good. I mean, I'll definitely um, look into it. Def I'll definitely look into it for sure because I'm such a fan of the Harry Potter films. You know, I really enjoyed all the Harry Potter movies. Um, I will definitely uh, look forward to uh, this movie. So the next movie on my list is... Um, actually, that's it for, no, that's not it for November. November 25th, the week of November 25th, there's going to be this movie called The Founder. And it is very interesting because it portrays the story of Ray Kroc and his acquisition of the McDonald's fast food chain. And it's going to have Michael Keaton in it. Uh, and in the lead role as uh, Ray Kroc, I believe. Yes. 
Uh, Nick Offerman's going to be in the movie, uh, and some other names as well. But, <clears throat> this is how the plot reads. Chronicling the rise of McDonald's fast food empire, the founder tells the true story of how Illinois salesman Ray Kroc met brothers Mac and Dick McDonald, who were operating a hamburger restaurant in Southern California in the 1950s. Croc subtly maneuvered himself into a position to take control of their company, which grew into one of the world's best-known brands after he bought the chain for $2.7 million in 1961. So, I love McDonald's. I'm a big fan of McDonald's. So I'll definitely be checking it out, for sure. I have the um, documentary, by the way, Super Size Me, about McDonald's and the fast food obsession or the it warns against McDonald's kind of eating too much McDonald's and whatnot but um I haven't really listened to it but I like I like the documentary it's pretty good anyway <coughs> excuse me moving on this is it for November anyway uh December. Looks like there's a few movies that I'm kind of looking forward to. And I'm looking forward to or intrigued by. We're getting another Star Wars movie in 2016. We're getting Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which takes place before Star Wars Episode Four and The Empire Strikes Back. Er, sorry, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. And Rogue One takes place before that. And this is going to be about the group of rebels who steal the Death Star plans. Now, with De Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, the story begins where the Empire's chasing the rebel, the rebel fleet, the Galactic Empire's chasing the rebels uh, because they stole the Death Star plans. Now, this story is going to be about how they stole the Death Star plans. So it's a prequel, and uh, a one-off movie, and um, I'm looking very much forward to it. The next movie on the list, uh, the 23rd, the week of the 23rd, there's a couple movies on this list in particular. Uh, there is going to be yet another video game movie. I'm actually looking forward to seeing this more than Warcraft. Warcraft, I never played the game, really. And so I have no, not really a lot of interest in it. I am, however, looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed. I've seen how, I've seen a little bit how Assassin's Creed works. And Assassin's Creed is the movie that's coming out. So Assassin's Creed is one that I am looking forward to. So there you go. Um... It has Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard in it as well, so um, that can't hurt. I mean, Fassbender is a pretty big actor these days, and Cotillard is a good international actress who's who's starred in a lot of American movies as well. Um, next movie on the list is Passengers, which is a sci-fi drama, and it has two of the biggest stars in Hollywood right now. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. That's why I want to see the movie. You know, I'm, I'm interested in what the movie is like. You know, because of those two. You know, uh, I like Jennifer Lawrence a lot, and Chris Pratt's a good star as well. He's got a lot of charisma. So, that's one there. And, and then you have January 25th. Or, I mean, sorry, December 25th as uh, the final weekend of 2016. And there are a couple movies on this list that I'm looking forward to. Uh, one of them is there's going to be a remake of Jumanji. Jumanji was, Jumanji was a movie I grew up on. Um, it was a movie... 
that starred Robin Williams. It was a movie in the late 90s. Um, it was 1995, so mid-90s. Robin Williams starred in this movie. It was a movie about a group of kids who get this board game called... who have this board game called Jumanji. They play it, and they, they're they in the game, basically. They... Um, the game victimizes them, I suppose. And, um... So they're looking to make a remake of it. And all that. But, uh... You know... It was a movie with Robin Williams in it, and movies are gonna get remade anyway. So... I'll definitely check it out. Um, it looks interesting. You know? They're remaking a movie from my childhood, so... I'll be interested in seeing it. And the final movie that I'm going to be talking about is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which is a fantasy live-action movie. Uh, I mean, it looks interesting because of the stars, Eva Green, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Judy Dench... They're going to be uh, some of the people in the movie. This is going to be directed by Tim Burton, who's known for kind of a dark, goth-like feel to his movies. He has a dark, gothic-like feel to his films. So the plot of Miss Peregrine's, this Miss Peregrine's movie is this. A 16-year-old boy named Jacob Portman accidentally works himself into, onto a mysterious island where he helps a group of pe peculiar orphan children at Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children, protecting them and leading, leaving them, leading them away from horrible creatures who are out to destroy them. So that is, uh, <clears throat> I kind of heard about this movie and all that. You know, the stars, Eva Green and Samuel L. Jackson kind of intrigued me. So yeah, I probably will check this movie out. And that is it. For the movies of 2016 that I am looking most forward, that I am most looking forward to, for the year. So there's a lot there, definitely, uh, and I will definitely get to a lot of them for sure. I'll see some of these movies in theaters. I'll see some of them on um, Potlocker, great, great streaming site that I can um, get movies on and all that, and it's very good. And I. Definitely will be checking them out through those two avenues. Maybe HBO later on in the year and all that. So there's a few ways I can check out the films, and I will definitely do that. So that is it for the entire series of my most anticipated films of 2016. So I hope you enjoyed these mo uh, these videos. Um, I definitely would recommend watching them for sure uh, to... Um, to see for yourselves what is coming out in 2016, what you feel you'd be very interested in. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, that is it for this video. DRock1992, out.